good humor, fierce in battle, and excellent comfort. And unlike the conversation she had with him when she was but 15, she was now completely at ease with him, a comfort that she's never experienced before. She also saw how respected and welcomed he was by everyone. Everyone. Yet another testament to the kind of man that Chris is. Chris also felt this comfort in Carter and was deeply impressed by her demeanor and how she dealt with life. Oh, and he, uh, he did still find her to be very pretty and very smart. <laughs> now, when asked about her enduring qualities, Chris describes her as being a bit of a challenge to keep up with. <laughs> but she knows what she wants and will stand her ground. She's playful, has a wicked funny sense of humor, and loves physical contact. All wrapped in a beautiful woman. Carter similarly loves Chris's sense of humor. And as she puts it, the evil, impish grin on his face when he's having fun. <laughs> is she not right or is she not right? Right there. He finds him grounded with the strength to accept and cherish other people. And you don't find that often. She says he is her true and perfect knight, protective, loving, Steady. You know, talking to them, it was easy to sense the deep comfort and love they share, a love that blossomed from a bud of friendship, which stemmed from a mere childhood acquaintanceship. Sounds a lot like the closest thing to two people finding their idyllic Camelot that most people only dream about. A queen finding her knight in shining armor, a knight finding his queen. They found that love, like friendship, is a choice. When you are a true friend to someone, you choose to spend time with them, to share with them, to care for them when they are sick, spiritually or physically, and to learn new things with them. You choose to change with them, to grow with them, and to experience all that life has to offer with them. This very venue on this Pensick battlefield is a fitting place to make a lifelong commitment to each other. This battlefield represents courage, strength, duty, honor, loyalty, respect, beauty, the past, and the future. And this ground will be here for you when you need a place to renorm, to recenter, refocus, or rebalance the relationship and the union of you two wonderful people, a union that must be constantly nourished to grow and to thrive. So tonight we are here to share the marriage of two special people. And more than a ceremony, this is a significant moment of celebration and personal commitment. The essence of this commitment is the acceptance of one another in their entirety. As a lifelong companion and friend, combined with the acknowledgement that each of you are different. It is therefore a decision that is not entered into lightly, but with great consideration and respect. From this day forward, you will promise to love one another completely. But at the same time, your love for each other will give you the strength to stand apart, to seek and pursue your own desires and your own goals. The nature of love is unselfish, understanding, kind and ongoing, as long as it continues to be nurtured. I'll now read a short uh, excerpt from, the, uh, from Union by Robert Fulgham. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you've been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in the car, over a meal, or during long walks, all of those conversations that began with when we're married, and continued with, I will, and you will, and we will. All of those late night talks that included someday, and somehow, and maybe. And all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All of these are common things and more, are real part of the real process of the wedding. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things that uh, we've promised, and hoped, and dreamed, well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time 
Before this moment, you've been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you have learned much from one another these past few years. Shortly you will say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life, and things between you will never quite be the same. For after today you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. much to learn from that reading. Two people in love do not live in isolation. Their love is a source of strength, which they nourish not only each other, but also the world around them. And in turn, we, the community of friends and family, have a responsibility to nourish this couple. By our steadfast care, respect, and love, we can support their marriage and the new family that they are creating. Will you, who are present here today, surround Chris and Carter in love, offering them the joys of your friendship and supporting them in their marriage? If so, please answer by saying, we will. We will! Chris Carter and Chris, before you are joined in marriage in my presence and the presence of these witnesses, your family and friends, I must remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship that you are about to enter. Marriage is a union of one person to another to the exclusion of all others, voluntarily entered into for life. Face each other, hold hands, and yeah, face each other. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, aw, isn't that nice and that sweet? Aww. <laughs> Chris, do you take Carter to be your lawfully wedded wife, to be true to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love and honor her all the days of your life? I do. I do. Carter, do you take Chris to be your lawfully wedded husband, to be true to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love and honor him all the days of your life? I do. Who has a wedding ring? <clears throat> Chris, as you place the ring on Carter's finger, repeat up, uh, please repeat mm -hmm. after me. Carter? Yes. Yes. That's to you in love and enjoy. I offer it to you in love and enjoy. From this day forward, <coughs> this day forward, I will love, I will love and comfort you. And comfort you. Hold you close. Hold you close. Prize you above all others. Prize you above all others. And remain faithful. Remain faithful. To you all the days of our lives. To you all the days of our lives. Carter, as you place the ring on Chris's finger, please repeat after me. Chris? Chris. All that I am and all that I have. All that I am and all that I have. I offer to you in love and enjoy. I offer to you in love and enjoy. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will love and comfort you. I will love and comfort you. Hold you close. Hold you close. Prize you above all others. Prize you above all others. And remain faithful to you. All the days of our lives. All the days of our lives. Chris and Carter, you now begin your journey bound by the vows you have just promised each other. Many paths you will chart in the pursuit of the many dreams you will share, embarking on innumerable adventures over countless autumns. If you keep your vows sacred, happy will be the days as you grow old together. These rings will be a daily reminder of the choice and commitment that you made today seal the vows of this marriage and symbolize the purity and endlessness of their love. We will now perform the ancient Celtic hand fasting ritual where three cords will be placed over their joined hands. Tannis will now place the light blue and green cord to symbolize romance, partnership, and happiness.
Tams will now place the blue cord, which symbolizes peace, sincerity, and devotion. Tams will now place the heavy green cord, representing strength, unity, prosperity, and longevity. Haley will now tie the cord together to signify the tying of the knot. As this knot is tied, so are your lives now bound. Woven into this cord, imbued into its very fibers, are all the hopes of thy friends and family, and of thyselves for a new life together. With the fashioning of this knot, you will tie all the desires, dreams, love, happiness wished here in this place to your lives for as long as you love shall last. In the joining of the hands and fashioning of the knot, so are your lives now bound one to another. By this cord you are thus now and forevermore bound to your vow. Make this knot, may this knot remain tied for as long as love shall last. May this cord draw your hands together in love, never to be used in anger. As any child discovers when they are learning to tie their own shoes, the first movement is to cross the ends. The cross creates an X which is a symbol of partnership and union. As your hands are bound by this cord, so is your partnership held by the symbol of this knot. Two entwined in love, bound by commitment and fear, sadness and joy, hardship and victory, anger and reconciliation, all of which bring strength to this union. Hold tight to one another through both good times and bad and watch as your strength grows. I shall now remove the cords. this, but it forms an infinity knot, which symbolizes the union. Mm -hmm. Thou hast pledged troth of thy own free will and sworn upon the sword. Thou hast exchanged rings and been bound together by the ritual of the cord. May it be granted that what is done before God be not undone by man. Family and friends, Chris and Carter have declared before me and before all of you that they will live together in marriage. They have symbolized it by joining hands, by exchanging vows, and by exchanging rings. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the state of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce Chris and Carter husband and wife. Chris and Carter.